So here it is, my makeup and vanity collection of fall 2013, which I'm doing a video of uh, inspired by you all whose cosmetic videos I've been obsessively watching and drooling over for several months. So uh, I figured I'd do one of my own. Here's my uh, quaint little vanity setup. Um, as you see, I've got a, it's actually a Walmart table. It's just the mainstay like black desk which uh, I am using for just a little slimline uh, vanity table because I don't have a lot of room uh, here in the, the aisle between the wall and my bed. Um, of course, I've got an Ikea chair, a Target uh, window. I think this is one of the, you know, like the dorm RE room essential brand. Excuse me, did I say a window? I'm in a mirror. Um, it's one of the room essential mirrors. Uh, here you see on the left of my uh, vanity table is, um, I'll get a closer shot later in the video, this is my nail collection, which looks kind of ridiculous. I really love the Sally Hansen uh, salon effects. So I've got a lot of those. Uh, you can see the little, the little boxes on the bottom shelf. And then on the top, I've got a couple of actual nail polishes, um, a lot of Essie, um, a couple of the Maybelline color show. And then I've got a uh, Essie and other, other brand of salon effect uh, lacquer strips. So let's, uh, let's start to get a, a closer view and uh, go into detail about what I've got in my collection. So this white thing, this uh, countertop holder thing that I've got on the top of my vanity table, I purchased on Amazon a couple years ago to uh, originally put on the bathroom countertop in my last apartment and I bought it to hold perfumes like I've still got it holding here and a spray deodorant and stuff but I moved and um, now I'm using it as a, a cosmetic brush holder um, as you see I've got a nice complete quaint collection of brushes not uh, it's not too uh, crazy like a lot of the brush collections I and I'm sure you have seen on YouTube um, but I've got everything I need and um, I've got really nice stuff. Let's go into uh, what I've got going on over here. I've got a lot of the Sephora um, kind of $9, you know, sale brand brushes. Let me get this into focus. There we go. I've got the all over eyeshadow brush, um, the blender brush, and I recently bought the, uh, the small angled liner brush, which I'm enjoying using a lot. Um, I've got the Sephora foundation and concealer, you know, kind of $9 sale brushes. The concealer's great. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to like this a lot because it's a little smaller than the brush I was used to using, but it's fantastic. Um, as is the foundation brush. I haven't been using this a whole lot. Um, I've sort of tried to, to use it more for a, excuse me, for a, a primer um, applicator. I haven't been using it for a foundation because... I was convinced into buying this, which if you've got it, you know what it is and you know how great it is. It, it, great it is. It's the Mineral Powder Sephora brush. Uh, this is not a sale brush. It's awesome and it works wonderfully for applying foundation. Um, I really didn't believe the folks who urged me to get it for that reason, but it's great. Um, I never thought foundation could be so easy uh, to apply and it applies it just flawlessly. Um, I've got... Um, a couple of Ulta brushes because Ulta just came to Nashville where I live. So I went in and I bought the uh, the contour blush brush. I don't use it for blush, I use it for contour. So I have my uh, my matte NYX bronzer, which I'll showcase in a little bit. And I apply this to the sides of my uh, cheeks. And then I've got the simple, uh, just thin eyeliner precision brush. Um, I was looking for, you know, just a normal, not an angled eyeliner brush. And they had this at Ulta which uh, I'm getting a lot of use out of. And it comes with a little plastic, plastic protector. The last brush I've got over here on this side is the uh, full-size angled brush from the Body Shop. In all of the uh, cosmetic collection videos I've seen on YouTube, and I have seen a lot, I basically never see Body Shop brushes. I've had hit or miss experiences with the body shop, you know, actual makeup, some of the eyeshadows I haven't had a great experience with, and even the foundations. Um, a while ago, they have a bigger selection now, but I'm very pale, as you can see, and I didn't feel they had a foundation that was pale enough for me. But their brushes are wonderful. This is the angled liner brush. And um, I've got the one and only Body Shop Face and Body Brush. 
This is a fantastic brush if you're looking for, you know, just an all over kind of pressed powder application or a, a powder foundation uh, applicator, or, you know, I've used this for a highlighter. I really, really recommend this. And it's only, you know, it's 20, I don't know, $26. That's a great price for this quality brush. And I just learned, I wish I'd known this, known this earlier, these have a lifetime warranty. So if it breaks, you go in and you get a new one for free. That's what I did with my uh, my Body Shop angled brush because the, the silver part kind of fell off. And so I went and I got a new one. I do have a Sephora lip brush. I don't use this a whole lot. Um, I meant to use it as a travel lip brush because it has this nice little plastic protector. It's got a cute little pink top. Um, I don't know if it came like that or if it's a, a stain from my lipsticks, but it's a great quality. This was a, this was not a sale brush. This is a pro, the pro lip applicator brush. And lastly over here, uh, if you have a brush like this from Sephora, you're uh, very familiar with it. Or if you go into Sephora as much as I do, you've probably seen it a lot. This is the Precision Natural Powder Brush. Now it's pink because uh, this is an older, out of print, quote unquote, line of brushes. This was the IT uh, line or IT line. Um, but you know what, folks? I, uh, I originally bought the current uh, line uh, of the same brush, the Precision uh, Natural Brush at Sephora and I figured it was a good investment, you know, $38, $40. And then I found this on eBay for under 25. So folks, I get the same, basically the same brush, just an older unused model for uh, fewer than $25 on eBay. I don't mind giving my money to Sephora, but as you know, it's nice to save a couple bucks. If you go to Target as much as I do, you see that uh, I've got the pretty uh, purple lamp up here, which is, uh, it doesn't give off a lot of light, you know, for vanity, uh, vanity uses, but um, it's pretty and it's nice to have in the evening. And then I've got my mini little vanity mirror over here, which does light up. Dee -dee -dee. And on the other side of my vanity table, um, as you see, I've got this Hello Kitty thing. You may have seen this. It was a Christmas edition, uh, you know, gift palette thing. It's got a lot of shadows and a lot of really high pig pigmented uh, lip glosses in here and a brush for eyeshadow and lip. That's why I don't use my other Sephora brush a bunch. Um, I've had such luck with this and I got it um, a couple of summers ago. Like I said, it was a Christmas edition and so it was still there in the summer and it was $15. It was quite the deal. And uh, keeping it kind of ghetto over here, you see this, this bright light, this is my vanity light. Um, it is from Target. I can't exactly remember what the, the, you know, the line or the brand is called. It was there with no price tag um, and honestly no record of, uh, of it in the Target system. So, you know, I bought it for, I don't know, maybe $15, which I think is less than it's really supposed to be. Little did I know, you know, it kind of acts as a studio light and it's supposed to come with a film that goes in the front. Um, it didn't have that, and so I'm keeping it super ghetto, and I've got a piece of wax paper, uh, you know, kind of softening the light, as you see, and it works. So looking at the vanity table from the top, you think, well, this isn't a very complete collection, but that's why there's this, woohoo! It's uh, sleek and hidden, and it keeps things organized. And uh, I've got a, a container store, you know, um, drawer organizer in here to keep everything fairly nicely organized. And then I put a, two little wooden ones on the side. Eyeliners over here, and I've got mascaras on the other end. Um, I've got, like I said, I can't believe I use uh, some drugstore products. This is my CoverGirl pressed powder, um, just the finishing powder, which I get awesome use out of. I've been using the Sephora powder foundation um, when I'm just in a hurry and I'm, I'm not gonna be, you know, uh, under a whole lot of lights or anything. Um, I do uh, music for a living and so um, that's when, of course, I use the CoverGirl liquid. I've got MAC concealer. When I first got into using makeup, just in general, I went to the MAC store um, and I just, you know, spent a lot of money there. Um, but I still go back for the foundation and usually I still go back, excuse me, I still go back for the concealer and usually I do go back for uh, for the foundation too. I've just been enjoying the CoverGirl one so much. And Ulta just came to Nashville and so I've been, uh, I've been in there a lot. Um, 
I've been introduced to the NYX line, which I'm enjoying. This pore filler primer is, it's okay. Um, the only other primer I've really used was a MAC one, so I don't think it compares in quality, but you know, it was, uh, if you're familiar with NYX, it was pretty inexpensive and you know, it's just fine. I found these little teeny guys in the checkout line for Ulta. Um, little, you know, Smashbox primers, Smashbox primers, excuse me. This has been nice, it's a small size, so it'll run out pretty fast. This I just bought, it's the Lorac Eye Primer. I was looking for an eye primer, and I'd had the Urban Decay one um, in the fun purple bottle before, which is a great product, um, if you know if you have it. But um, this is nerdy, but I found this to be the best price for, uh, for the amount when it came out to per ounce. This was really uh, the best price in, um, out of all of the, um, the higher end primers in Ulta. Here are my shadows. Of course, you saw my huge collection of shadows in the Hello Kitty palette. Um, I've got these two random Sephora ones from years ago. Pink, this kind of pink natural one. Um, I'm actually wearing it right now. I'll show you a little bit in this fun electric blue one. Um, I've got a just a couple of Maybelline, you know, quads. I was out on the road and forgot my makeup, so I bought these. And these are nice. These do the trick. I don't use the foam applicators. Ooh, no, I don't use those. I use the uh, real uh, the real eyeshadow brushes to apply these. This is the smoky one. And this is a more natural one. This I've had forever. My sister used to work at Macy's, and she went to the uh, the Mac counter when they first got uh, their Hello Kitty a line of makeup. Mac was actually the first major. Um, uh, you know, line ag agreement, business deal, whatever that Hello Kitty made when it came to makeup. And so I've had this for years. Um, they're great colors, you know, they're not super pigmented, um, but I'm just, I'm using it till it disappears, <laughs> basically. And then I've got this quad from Ulta, which I haven't opened yet. The Ulta opened here just a couple of months ago and I went on opening weekend, which I didn't realize it was, and I got all this stuff for free. And this is one of the things I got for free. I've got a little collection of uh, mascaras over here. I've got a uh, huge natural lashes, which actually I'm gonna show them to you right now. Can you see my lashes? They're real. They've just got some of the Too Faced mascara on them. Bling! And uh, as you can see, I've got just a little bit of black eyeliner on also. That's the, the NYX black gel liner, which I applied with, uh, with my Ulta liner brush. And I've just got natural makeup on right now. So just some mascara, as you see, goes a long way. Um, right now I've got, a, once again, a drugstore purchase. The Rimmel Max, uh, like curly, bold curves. This stuff is great. I never thought I would enjoy a Rimmel product so much. This is awesome. This was um, a freebie uh, with a Sephora online order. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It's a great product. I would totally buy the full product. Let me just say, call me square. Uh, it makes me really uncomfortable when the, the names of these uh, cosmetics are things like Better Than Sex. And uh, if you're really into cosmetics, you know about the NARS Orgasm line. Just when I watch a, you know, teenagers doing cosmetic videos and they've got the orgasm products. So I'm just like, oh, that seems so inappropriate. Call me square. Um, I've got the Ulta Plus Drama Mascara. I haven't used yet. This was also free in the huge uh, loot uh, collection that I took home over uh, opening weekend from the Ulta here. Over here on the other side, I've got my, uh, my liners on the full other side. I'm, I'm not going to go into all of these. Let me get a little close up. There we go. I've got a couple of NYX products. I, uh, I love liquid liner. And so I've been just collecting, uh, collecting them wherever I go. Um, I've got a couple of Ulta ones. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I've got uh, this cheap NYC uh, liquid liner, which the, the liner itself is great. The brush is just a little flimsy and hard to use. So I've been applying that with my, uh, my Ulta eyeliner brush. I got a couple of old Sephora ones. This one is a fun color. I love teal. And uh, I got my first gel liner, which I'm really enjoying. Um, so this is the NYX Black Gel. I wish that the gel liners came in, you know, crazier colors. They seem to only come in kind of black brown and a dark green and 
you know, so it's a great product though. Over here, let's get down. I've got a blushes, bronzers, and a, some lip stuff. Um, my The rest of my lip collection I carry with me uh, on an everyday basis in my purse, and I'll show you that in a sec. Um, like I said, I've been using the NYX bronzer for uh, contour. It's great. I got this free Ulta thing. Uh, it's just the sun-kissed, you know, bronzer. You know, it's nice for some shimmer and stuff. It doesn't really, it's not real pigmented though. The Dream Bouncy Blush. Um, at first when I bought this the first time, this is my second one of these, I bought it and I just, I was like, how do you use this? Uh, I don't know what to do. So I kind of finally figured it out. I went to Sephora and asked one of the guys there. Um, this, I love this product. Um, the pigment is so awesome. I have a real pink one. Um, it goes on great, you know, kind of goes on like a cream and you know, I don't know what the thing is. It finishes like a powder. I don't remember. But um, I think this is an awesome product. And I've got uh, a little body shop blush, which uh, I really recommend. It goes on great. The color is nice. The pigment is good. I really recommend body shop blush. A little Ulta sharpener. And uh, this is a body shop uh, like illuminator, you know, uh, what are they? Do they say it's an illuminator? You know, oh, it's an, excuse me, iridescence, blush, brush on radiance. It's a, you know, it's like a little pearly thing. So that, that would go good with a, a mineral brush. Over here in, uh, in Lip World, I've got uh, just a myriad of things. This is where I keep all my lip, uh, lip balms. I have real dry lips, so I keep a bunch on hand. A couple years ago for birthday time, uh, Sephora gave uh, these little sugar lip treatment minis out, and I really like this. I think this is very effective. I've got a Sephora gloss. I've got a MAC um, gloss, because uh, like I said, I've used MAC for a little while, <clears throat> a long while. And so uh, once you get six empty containers of a MAC you know, product, you go in and get a free something. So this was free. I've got this super old Sephora uh, shimmery lip gloss. This free Ulta, um, very shiny, very pigmented, uh, rosy kind of gloss, which I haven't used. I bought this at that, what's that store? Is it JR's? You know, it's in the South. It's this huge just discount store. I bought this there. It's a, it's a CoverGirl, you know, pink pencil. And I've got these two Ulta sticks. Let's see, what colors are these? Oh, this is kind of like a cappuccino, I think. And this is... Oh, maybe this is the cappuccino, yeah. The other one's just a kind of a natural nude. The cappuccino was free. Um, I bought the nude. Let me show you what I've got going on in my daily uh, lipstick collection that I carry with me. Here's what I carry around with me. No wonder my purse is so heavy. I carry around just a little bit of everything, so I am prepared at any moment. Um, I've got a pink liner, CoverGirl. I've got a red liner, which, uh, what is this? This is a drugstore, it might be Maybelline. And then I've got an Ulta nude liner, which is actually a little darker than I'd like. Um, and I've got the Sephora Travel Lip Brush. Woohoo! High tech, it's great. Um, I've got a nude Sephora. These are my nudes. Uh, the CoverGirl uh, kind of lip slick, you know, balm thing. Um, it doesn't really moisturize. The color's fine, you know, but I, I feel like it's a little more drying than it's advertised. Um, Hourglass nude, uh, nude lip gloss and child. This is quite old, which is why there's not a lot of it left. This is a wonderful product. I've got my red lipstick, uh, which is makeup forever. Um, I went and bought a little bit of a blue based red lipstick because I have such pale skin and um, dark hair and blue eyes. Um, and then I've got my uh, my pinks. I've got a Rimmel. I've got this, uh, the Whisper. What is this? Is this Maybelline? Is it? I can't believe I can't remember. I think it's Maybelline, but they do these Whispers, which is just like a hint of color lipstick. I love this. I think it's great. I have the baby lips uh, in this, you know, kind of neon-y pink color, which uh, is very, it really softens my lips. It's very uh, soothing and the color's great. I've got this Body Shop little kind of nude pink gloss. And uh, my sort of rosy Ulta color, which um, I'm really a big fan of. I think this goes on great. And it's just natural enough, too. And lastly, which is uh, quite old, I've got the Benefit uh, California Kissin. My sister used to be a, a Benefit cosmetic employee, so I've, I've had a lot of their cosmetics over the year. Um, it goes on a little bit blue, um, but, you know, not so much that you look like an alien. 
um, the shimmer's great, the shine's great, and it makes uh, it makes the colors you wear, you know, like I said, I've got this blue, kind of blue-based red stick. So when I put the blue, uh, the blue gloss on, um, it looks very nice, it looks very nice. Last stop on the tour is the, the final section of my, uh, my vanity table and collection. Uh, these are my, uh, my nail things. Nail polish, uh, lacquer strips, um, all sorts of stuff. As you can see, I'm wearing some right now. Um, and it was Halloween, so uh, I've been wearing my spider web uh, nail lacquer strips. I've got a bunch of Sally Hansen ones on the bottom. Uh, I went on Amazon at one time and I bought like these, you know, kind of dual dual things. So here's a little sparkly one. I've got an Essie one too. Uh, I'm excited to use that one just because I think Essie is a great brand. They're a great product. You know, I have had hit or miss, whoa, I have had hit or miss uh, experiences with Sephora trend tips. Um, some of them, I don't know if it's because they were old or because they'd been in the bathroom for so long. Um, they just like ripped and fell apart. I couldn't get them on my nails at all. And I was very, very disappointed. However, this, this is my second uh, purchase of this specific nail lacquer strip. It's like the bird one. I think it's called birds. They go on so easily and it was so beautiful to have these on my nails. Anytime I looked at my nails, I felt, I felt joy and they just looked, they made me feel great and they looked great. Um, I like to do the toe ones too. Uh, so I've got the Sally Hansen um, pedicure salon effects. I've got a couple of Essie uh, nail polishes. Um, I'm, I'm not into shiny polishes. I like them really matte. So uh, both of these are like this. This one is um, the mint candy apple, the green one, and this one was the yoga one. They did like a fitness line of Essie ones and this was the yoga one. I've got a couple of the Maybelline uh, color show. These are surprisingly really good quality. The pigment's great and they go on really easily. Um, and down here, I have yet to wear this, but uh, this is one of the new, ooh, it looks kind of weird now. This is one of the new color show uh, colors. You know, it goes on kind of textured and um, I'm really excited to use this actually because I, uh, I sampled a really textured polka dotty um, nail polish in Sephora and I loved how it looks, so I can't wait to use this. So that's the tour, folks. Thanks for watching. And now, uh, now that you've completed the video, I'll go ahead and let you in on a secret. This is my first makeup collection video. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I've been really inspired by watching all of y'all's videos, and I've just been drooling over y'all's makeup collections. And uh, call me obsessive compulsive. Sometimes I go through spells where I just buy a whole lot of stuff. Um, and uh, recently it's been makeup uh, for me. Um, I completed the, bl the brush collection not too long ago. So uh, keep your videos coming y'all because I am watching them and drooling. And uh, thanks so much for watching mine.